Since her conception, Sombra has been one of the most hated and controversial heroes in Overwatch. She's one of the few heroes where you will get flamed by both your team and the enemy team for picking her. And she's been one of the most difficult heroes to balance and has gone through numerous reworks and different iterations of her kit. She's very much a hero that Blizzard kind of shot themselves in the foot with when they were designing her kit originally. And this to me is a real shame because she's personally one of my favorite characters. She's just such a cool and like well-designed like character outside of the game obviously like when it comes to like her visual appearance and her personality and just the overall like design concept i feel like they kind of nailed it it's just the damn kit and outside of the game she's kind of seen like some impact in the gaming industry she's had a few um influences on different characters and other games and she's just cool you know so what is it about sombra that makes her so unbearable in the game now there's a lot to it i want to start by saying i think that the current iteration of sombra that we have right now in game is in my my opinion the best version of Sombra that we've seen balance wise. I find her current playstyle really fun and engaging. It's not as one note as kind of previous iterations of her work. She feels like a dynamic and fun character to play now but you know she's still not perfect. She still has a lot of people um, very angry when you play her. Now as someone who's mained her and played her since literally the day she launched, I was there on the edge of my seat as a 16 year old waiting for her to launch after her, like a 10 year long ARG that Blizzard teased her with. She had so much hype around her. I remember watching the streams of the crowd in BlizzCon through 2016 I think. Everyone like lost their mind when the cinematic debuted. But she's definitely gone through it in terms of balance. But I feel like previous versions of her were much much worse and much worse for people that played against her too. And playing as her was not the easiest thing. <laughs> the first like version of Sombra that was present at launch was honestly pretty shit. It was really clunky and her role felt a bit unclear. She was introduced as an offense hero, which at the time the DPS role was split into offense and defense. Offense had heroes like Tracer, Genji, Reaper, Vera, etc. And defense had characters like Tor, Mei, Bashin, you kind of get it. Now when Sombra first debuted, her kit was very, very different than it is now. Her stealth wasn't permanent, it lasted like six seconds and gave her like like double movement speed she was zooming but it also took like 10 fucking years to come out of stealth and start shooting so securing kills out of invis was not really easy at the time especially considering her damage was much lower back then her translocator was also different she could place it down and it had a timer on it and she had to return to it once the timer ran out and hack out of <laughs> Hack disabled abilities for a whole six seconds. So if you think she's bad now, <laughs> EMP kind of did the same thing. It also destroyed like shield health. So it was kind of like a fuck Zen button, but there was a lot of issues with this kit design. She was really like clunky to play. Her hack felt really frustrating to play against. I mean, if people bitch and moan about the one second ability interruption that she has now, can you imagine six seconds? That's, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but she also did like no damage. Like her, her damage was laughable. Her kit was pretty much entirely focused on annoying and disrupting the enemy team. But but also her damage was pretty low so like you know she was not really good at being a offense character or a damage character and her utility was kind of like the main part about her but it was pretty useless if it's if you didn't have like good team coordination unfortunately utility in a game like this is not very useful unless it is kind of directly leading to kills or you know like saving you from death so really she was a hack bot and emp bot and in doing that she also kind of like required her team to be able to follow up because she couldn't really follow up on her own hacks because she didn't have the damage to do so. At one point, um, her little Uzi was pretty much the only form of damage that she had. She had no virus, no bonus damage on hack targets, no damage on EMP. She was just kind of raw dogging with her SMG. Her movement was also like really limited as you were kind of chained to that timer. Wherever you place your translocator, you kind of had to, you had no choice but to go back to it after like a certain period of time. But she ended up being a hero with very little mid presence and she kind of really relied heavily on her ultimate to have any real impact and even then like she, she needed her team to follow up on that all of this combined kind of made a hero that really sucked to play as and to play against and to play with and ultimately playing her in solo queue is kind of what led me to therapy <laughs> now her first major change came when they made invis permanent and they also removed the timer from her translocator so she could kind of run around indefinitely now this technically wasn't like a full rework because it still kind of kept her main play style just kind of like made it better better in the sense 
that like it was not chained to like a time limit she had more time to flank and kind of like stay in the fight although you know with the old translocator she still was bound to having to tp out of the fight in order to survive so really it didn't kind of solve her main issues as a dps she still didn't do too much damage and she couldn't really lean into the more like assassin style gameplay just yet so what this change really did was allowed her to be more of a nuisance to tanks and supports in the background and just hacking people and lurking in the shadows and then kind of tping across the map at the first side of danger it was kind of frustrating to play against i could i could see why and it really wasn't very fun or engaging to play as so i think the change of adding infinite stealth and infinite translocated duration just kind of amplified the reasons why people didn't like playing against her in the first place without necessarily making her any more fun to play as or play with as a team so this change was a bit of a flop it did feel better like quality of life wise but it didn't really make her any healthier or any better for the game so with the launch of Overwatch 2, we got the first kind of true big rework for Sombra. This was like an attempt to change her playstyle to lean more towards her like stealthy assassin identity. These changes included Hack now only silencing enemies for about a second and a half. Hack also now works with her passive, allowing her to deal bonus damage to hack targets. She could also hack while in biz, so <laughs> I don't I don't know what they were thinking. And her EMP now does 40% of players' health, and you know, obviously the quick little silence that it did initially now i think this change was a little bit closer to at least making sombra like play a bit more like a damage character in the sense that she felt like she did have a bit more like burst potential she could assassinate characters a little bit easier ever so slightly now i think this change was a little bit closer to making sombra feel more like that kind of backline stealthy assassin character while also trying to preserve that like hacker identity and it definitely did feel more fun as a sombra player i felt like i could do more damage and have a bit more impact but the problem with this version is that sombra ended up being being used to basically make the tank players want to unalive themselves. She still, I feel like, couldn't be a full-fledged DPS because of, in my opinion, her one big fundamental flaw that they hadn't changed with her yet, and that's her translocator. They didn't touch her translocator in this rework, so she still had to rely on her only in-combat movement ability, kind of taking her completely out of the fight. This means that she still has very little mid-fight presence, and it's really hard for her to maintain multiple kills or maintain a lot of damage. Basically, consistency was kind of her big flaw. And you had other characters characters who played a similar role like Tracer or Genji but these characters had very good like mid fight sustainability. Tracer can kind of blink, recall and be hard to hit and have really threatening damage where Sombra didn't really have that. Invis only really works like out of combat and Translocator directly takes you out of the fight unless you're trying to use it as a more aggressive tool but then that does kind of put you in a really vulnerable situation because she still doesn't quite have the damage or like 1v1 potential as the rest of the DPS. So you're relying on kind of playing a more cheap play style of catching people off guard and hacking them and didn't quite feel good. I feel like it just kind of again amplified the reasons why people didn't like her in the first place but just add a little bit more annoyance to tank players and to support players and a little bit more damage and you end up with a character that people really just don't like playing against so overall this rework although it did feel better as a somber player it kind of ultimately ended up making her very good at the one thing that players kind of hate the most about her and that's just being in biz and hacking and canceling abilities without real consequences especially when you can do it while in biz there's not a whole lot of counterplay to that it's very frustrating now fast forward to sombra's final rework up to this point she received a brand new ability called virus which is a projectile that does 100 damage over time and also deals faster damage on hack targets her passive bonus damage on hack targets was removed and her translocator was changed to now automatically go off after a set distance or when colliding with a surface basically you could no longer place tp down and teleport back to it later anymore instead now she could use it as a um, more like an in-combat mobility option. She could use it to make much more aggressive plays and stay in the fights with their team. And overall, I think this was honestly the best change that they've ever given her. She feels so much more dynamic to play with this like simple change. Like it truly, it truly changed her <laughs> for the better, I think. This version of Sombra is personally my favorite and it's kind of the exact direction that I always hoped that they would go to. And I feel like they finally kind of got the recipe for leaning into that stealthy assassin archetype. This time they were a bit more mindful, a bit more considerate about some of the 
frustrations players had and they made it so you also couldn't hack enemies while invisible anymore but she could still hack health packs while invisible and i was really afraid that they were going to take that away because it's such a small like quality of life thing i feel like this is something that they probably would have missed too uh, this version of sombra is so much more fun to play and you can actually like actively participate in the team fight go for aggressive plays and just like you can do so many, you can use your tp in so many different ways now changing the tp is truly the like first time that they actually fundamentally changed her play style so now that play style of kind of just hanging out in the back line and hacking tanks and kind of tping across the map as soon as you have a, a slight hint of danger is is gone it's dead thank god instead you actively have to kind of think about your engagements and use tp as more like a genji dash or tracer blink and you just kind of have to use it more in the midfield fight and it doesn't go very far anymore so it is it really is a combat tool combined with her ability to actually do more damage and making that damage a skill shot i feel like really makes her more fair she kind of plays a bit more like tracer with added like vertical movement and a little more utility i finally kind of feel like they struck a happy medium with her hacker identity as well as hack functioning more as a interrupt and like a combo for her virus to get like a, a quick burst combo but overall it just feels more rewarding even like escaping like and disengaging a fight feels more rewarding because you actually have to really you know think about it and be fast and, and react with your tp and decide where you want to teleport in the middle of the fight rather than just pressing the button and teleporting back to the health pack but you know now that my kind of main issues with her have pretty much been resolved as a sombra main um she still does have a lot of like stigma as a character and still catches a lot of heat people still seem to hate her very much despite them kind of making her much more skillful and engaging i eh, there's still some core issues i think i think the main issue players still have is the fact that sombra still has that permanent invis and the fact that you know silence in a game like overwatch is never really going to be a fun thing to play against it's hard to see a world though where they remove her like silencing abilities completely i think what they have now is pretty much the most minimal they'll go so i i don't see that changing but i also don't think it's really the worst thing in the world i feel like there are characters with more annoying utility i kind of find like cassidy's hindered to be more oppressive sometimes in hack but maybe that's just me i don't know i don't know what they would replace like her disable with so that's something I, I just don't really have a solution for stealth on the other hand is kind of a hard thing to balance and i think that's kind of where the biggest problem lies because of stealth you can't really nerf her utility to the ground because then you have to buff her damage a little bit to compensate but you can't really buff her damage too much because having a character kind of appear out of nowhere and then burst you down is gonna definitely make players pissed off and hate her even more especially because it feels like there's no real counterplay you can't really track someone that you can't see so i think overall in the future when they if they decide to change her anymore if if players still kind of find her very frustrating i think stealth ultimately is probably going to be a place where they look at some suggestions i've seen are like reverting it back to the original stealth where it's like a set duration the problem with this though is i don't know how that would function right now just because like they would i don't know if they would have to take it off of it being a passive and there's no more buttons really <laughs> i've seen some suggestions like putting stealth still on the passive but kind of like on a charge system and you can kind of choose when you enter it by like pressing interact maybe it lasts for like six seconds and increases your speed kind of like how the original stealth did this could be interesting but i'm not too sure how it would actually function just because i feel like it might disrupt her flow i think right now a big part of her gameplay is being able to tp and then relying on the tp kind of pushing you into stealth with that reduced cooldown so taking that away i feel like will make her feel very clunky and bad i think allowing her to enter stealth right out of tp is kind of really important for her overall like gameplay and flow and just feeling like not clunky <laughs> another suggestion that i have seen to kind of help this out is making stealth not like a complete invis and rather making kind of like a ghost form where she's like translucent not fully invisible and to compensate she has better movement stealth doesn't get broken when she takes damage but you can still see her and shoot her down she's just moving more quickly this kind of allows her to still kind of enter this form right after teleporting and she can kind of zoom around even if she is taking damage she can potentially dodge it if she's not being if stealth's not being broken you know i do have a little faith that the devs can continue to balance and tweak her to make her feel good for both the player and the enemy but i think where she is currently is a massive step in the right direction overall i feel like a lot of people that still hate her are likely more lower ladder ranked players where it's harder to have peel and players awareness isn't as snappy so it's harder to deal with sombra especially as a tank or support i think a lot of players kind of hold on to that hate that 
that they've had for her in previous versions of her kit and haven't really paid attention to how much her kit has really changed and how much more counterable she is now and engaging. But overall, is the Sombra hate warranted? I think that the previous iterations of Sombra, I think the hate for those versions of her were definitely warranted. <laughs> but as the way she stands now, I think she's a lot more balanced and I think there are worse offenders in this game, but she could still maybe use some work, just some tweaks or I guess looking at stealth might be the next step if they decide that she's too uh, oppressive still or if they're unhappy with her performance i don't know but tell me what do you guys think what do you think do you think sombra is balanced or do you think she's terrible for the game do you prefer any past iterations of sombra i'm kind of curious to see how people feel about her now but yeah um subscribe for more videos it'll make you very demure and it'll give you clear skin so yeah subscribe